Actually, come up here, my 18th birthday. She wants to come in here and come down off drugs and all. She wants the door closes her head to your head. I'll just go a bit like. Don't feel like a human being. Sure, come on, do it, say it, I'm afraid. Same shit every single day. People here, it's like your auntie, other like automatic, frank, we scumbag, we their kid, all us here. Do you mind me asking what the crime was? GBH went down. You can't beat the system, play the system, you mean? You want to see that stay in my room? Be it no practice? You two lads get your room to lock up, get your room. Ah, there's my wank bank. You have to have one of them, Mike, when you're in here. Sir, how are we? Living a dream. Was it a dream? <laughs> joking. And how soon was it until you were attacked? Like five months. The best things about Hyde Bank is the road out of it. Hyde Bank in Northern Ireland houses young offenders and some who are awaiting trial. Most of these inmates are aged between 18 to 21. Their offences range from theft to murder. Many make the headlines. I hear people say, do your work, we'll just do your time. You can't do a crime, don't do a time. Unless you're in for murder, you know one day you're walking out the other side of that fence. We hear about crime every day of our lives, so much so that we become sanitised. My name's Stephen Nolan, and as a local broadcaster, I hear callers regularly express their disgust at the offences these young guys commit. It was horrified. Revolted. Sick. Sick. We are better than those people. I'm going inside to meet the young offenders themselves. I was just sitting thinking, what the fuck, do you know what I mean, Nick? He doesn't even know me, and he's slobbering on a, on a show about me. I've been raging about it ever since. For people like me on the outside, the story often ends when the young offender is locked up. See you for See you, But I want to find out what happens next. All right, Thomas, see you in the morning. Let's go! <laughs> it's like hard to be in here, like, you know, all your family, like, be outside. Can't do nothing, you know. Vlog every day. Just do that same shit every single day. My name is Florin. I'm from Romania. Burgery bring me here like, you know, five months to go. Five months and that's it. Yeah. It's hard sometimes you get bored, like nothing, just make your head like away and just sitting and just watching the walls and that's it make you sad. Like, you know, sometimes just cut you yourself, just make trouble, getting trouble. Doing stupid shit we can't do, you know. Can we talk to them? Fifty bellies. Who's that shouting to me down there? Who's that shouting to me? Was it you calling me a fat? No, I said they're not little and we tight jeans. Oh, and you were the wiggle? No, I gave us the wiggle. What's the crack in here today? Same shade. Same shade. Never Basically. What's the commitment like in here? Like, do you come in on handcuffs and all that kind of oh, stuff? I you come in on the horse box and all that. You go in and you get fucking strip searched. Oh, I like. Enough. Humiliating. Fuck said, do you have a penis, do you? <laughs> I mean, so what's the difference of mine and yours, you know what I mean? No, because someone else is looking at you. It's a privilege to look at this body, so it is. Beach house, lock up, beach house, lock up. I'll check one behind the doors. Beach house, lock up. Shut his door. Yeah, Since you're like, like, now. Like, I mean, you're locked in, Steve. Let's get in there. Someone's fighting or something. He's going to beat me up now. Well, I don't speak. 
So what's happened? He lied to me, logged in a cell. So, no, what's, what's <laughs> happened now? If I tap him, hit the alarm and all the screens go to the alarm. Go so there's an alarm going now? Right now. Come on, here. Who am I here? How do you know when you can get out? Our doors are clicked. I'll no, say a beach house car around. I don't know. He might be locked in here for a bit. You know what? We'll get you sorted, don't worry. Right, Sean. Your house will be exception of big four. Normal movement to see. Aye, you just. Yeah, there's our door will be open in here in two seconds. That's it. Hi, Lord, let me give me 20 seconds. My fucking bed's a mess. Right, morning. So, you've only got a wee cell, like, so it is. You've your bed there, or two beds in here. Bunk bed, bottom bed, your sink, and your toilet. Toilet in a room beside your head uh, isn't the best thing, like, so it's not that you feel uncomfortable with it, but, like, but at the end of the day, you get your TV, you know. You get a nice wee TV. So, tell me about you then. Oh, I've been 19, so I've got uh, one year sentence for... I was burglar at the start and then they dropped it to criminal damage because never after the house like it. So what did you do? It was... I went up to some, someone's door and took a sledgehammer to it, rag the place. That sounds crazy. Yeah. Do you realise how crazy that sounds? I know. We're gonna bust them up. So it was, but I was like, nah, fuck it. I'm not going to jail for a long time, like... But... Is that not, like... Yes, that's a bit extreme. It is all right. And had you been in much bother with the police before that? No, I was in bother before with common assault, criminal damage, all that other stuff, so it was just silly things. I lived in the country. My dad was a country fella, so he lived out in the back. I was holding the war. So I moved to town and everybody was there and I get him in the wrong crowd and whatnot. And it, it felt good at the start, and then whenever all the police stuff was involved, and then I was just getting into trouble, didn't they got there. And it took me to now to realise, because this is my first time in here, it took me all this time to realise this, and I'm not going down this road no more. I was very nervous coming in here, but up here is sweet, so it is, it's not easy, easy, but it's bearable, you, could, you can live with it, you know what I mean? I didn't have that long of a sentence, I'd only... 12 months to 6, so it's not too bad, like. Sweet. Every time I use that sink, it just overfills and floats in this. I'm gonna call you. Don't need to tell the harm it. Someone gave me a car. He keeps a rough rap away. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, he has a bit of muscle about him. You know what I mean? He's trying to make the gym more. Put a wee bit of timber on. You coming to the gym with us? I'm coming to the gym here, go on. You go close my door, with you? Fuck. At the gym, I forget that I'm even in jail. I feel like you're it. The feeling that I call me, it's like I'll meet them when, whenever we're out. Both, both of us are out. Go to the gym every day, get your time by a lot faster, you know what I mean? As I said, you can't beat the system, play the system, you know what I mean? Might as well play the game, right? Make your time as easy as possible. And is this about the physical or the mental? Both. Keeps you healthy. Prison body is basically big upper frame and wee tiny sticks for legs. That's how you know someone's been in the prison.
Sometimes in the past, I've been arrested on the Friday. I woke up on the Sunday and went, why am I sitting here? You just completely lose memory because you've had that many drugs or that much drink. It happens that fast. It's like a car crash. It's, it's happened before you realize what's happened and then you're back in here. You form a wee click. There's certain boys in here where you go, what? I mean, I'd rather have them boys I'd say, because they're good crack. I'm a lookout for each other as well, like say. He didn't have to back out, I'd roll him and I'd roll there too. And they like, there's a fella, Dan Lan, he's always asking for rollies. I rolled him in old tea bag there. See those pranks you put in jail? Oh. Remember you smoked pubes? <laughs> oh, fuck off, you dirt bird. Did you? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That all right. Why? He had no tobacco one day, but he, got, he was asking someone whether I know where to land him to throw him down a fair. I will not fucking find so him, So someone got a rule and put a wee bit of tobacco and threw it down to him. See, at the start of the street, there was tobacco, like, that much in there, right? Smoked my head and then fucking ripped it up. What the fuck's that done? I really had no way. I'll change your feud, so. And then the don't see, the don't see. Go for a bit of work here, that's. So talk me through this. Ah, there's my wank bank. You have to help on the M, like when you're in here. You do all right. Get them in the newspapers when you get your visits, so you do. But <laughs> say good location, best location about. No one knows where they are. Apart from that. We have station at 12 o'clock for when we tell them it's free view. It was a free view on 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Uh, that's closer to getting the woman in here. Let's see. Ten, half ten, it goes quiet, so it does. No one speaks. Everybody's pumping one out, like, you know what, for a fact. <laughs> one night since I've came in here, the three months I've been in, someone's looked through my wee spy last night, I've been sitting there baiting the right over bed station, and was like, no way. And you go pure red in the sweats, beating off you, and they know rightly what you're at, you know what I mean? I know. Like it's scunder, and like, you, you, it just ruins your ha it just ruins it. When you think about it, the other concert having a wank beside you, it like, just puts you off, but it does all right. But what, what makes you think that, but... Because everybody goes quiet, you know? Yes, but it's getting the time of night where people like to turn off. It's not that you can turn on in jail and be like, what are we doing at 10 o'clock at night, walking up and down the room, yee ba, yee ba, get the music on. No, no, I don't like, but fuck it. You know what I mean? Right, lads, I'm getting to the shed and You see when that door closes at what, seven o'clock at night? Is it, not, is it not awful being locked up for, what is it, 13 hours? Yeah. Is that not crazy? Yeah, I'm gonna flag. <laughs> On what? What's heavy white mean? You start down to him in your head, rather than down, and you end up cutting your wrist, you go mad. Mom's like... Can't fucking put someone behind bars and expect them not to go mad after a while. I'm sorry for slapping these. Right? Fucking me lads on the hopper. He's the heavy worker on the run. <laughs> That's the one who smashes his room up all the time. Oh. He's took all he has, he fit last night and threw all his dinner over everyone. Stay in my way, top. All chilli sauce on it. I had to spat in his face, like. They were disgusting, but there was only thing I think I'd done. He couldn't hit him, he's a brain injury. I'll let you send the wee shaker here. See the water? Was the water made up in my piss? <laughs> Shut up, we stayed in my house and that's what he did. It affects people differently. If you're used to it, you just get on with it, you know what it's like. But if you're not used to it, start getting depressed and all that. There's people on the land that's... I don't know what's a crack with them, just... 
just can't do their whack. They're locking the tension off the screws. So I just can't do it. I racked my room last night. It's a bit of anger, right? So my mom's trying her hardest to get, get me out of here because it's not here where I should be. It should be on, uh, in a mental hospital. You know the other one right with you? All right, he's been looking out for me, so he has. You give him advice, sir? Oh, I keep us, uh, just to keep his head down. And he's, do my he's my counselor around here, so he is. Does that help? Oh, uh, somebody? Oh, uh, yes. Fed up with people just trying to walk all over me, you know me? I'd say there'll be at least a couple of fights a day. Probably someone slobbering, or if someone took their dinner, there'll be a fair, a fair day go rat. There is mad stuff that happens, like people fighting over jam donuts and... I was fighting over fucking potatoes. Five spuds. Yeah, very dangerous tools they got there. I'm thinking you're going to stiff me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what do you have? <laughs> He's the definition of power now. What are you on, like, your room? Can I draw a camera? You're a fucking hungry, are you? 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 Life in somewhere like this, that's one of the things I didn't think about. Like, if there was someone that isn't hygienic, they've got to be, because it affects everybody else, right? Oh, why? Uh, you're not hygienic. You're getting the shit kicked out of you. You're getting dirty. My bucket's fucked away. You're getting pay pay a full land on stand pissing on my bucket and throw it away. Or you're forcibly put on the shower. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. Tough shit. Be clean. We all, we all have to live. We all have to live in the same place. We all have to share this landing. Is that if there are fights, whatever, if that word happens, either in the cells or the showers, or...? No, no, no it's cells. cells. You can see where his door starts. You can't see from there, up that far, though. So it's here and where else? Where are other places? The ablutions, where you get a shower. Um, Is that where people are beaten up, too? Uh, anywhere where there's no cameras, like. I've seen someone getting... Hit once and they went flying down the stairs and split the back of their head open. And do they not get into trouble for that? No, because you don't tell. You go and take your one, I got a hiding in your corner. I've been on a couple of things, like, and. Yeah, it's been done, my guy. I just got a big fucking bang right in the side of head, mate, and squeezed my ear. I caught an ear out of it for like two weeks or something. It's just the way tail is. Why did they do that to you? Because I had a fight in someone's room and fucking blood went everywhere. Your man's room, me fucking lost the blood and fucking wrecked me. <laughs> Dead all right. Well, I can see where he was coming from, like. Can I go? Can I go? Don't make me coffee. Excuse me, you're We said we'd get a chat. Are you still up for at least talking or not? What did he say? Come visit? I think so, yeah. people would get boys for all crime they've done. The crime's really bad, then they're going to get bullied like. Well, it hasn't been hot, easy for me in here, believe me, because what I was in for. I would never raise my hand to a girl ever in my life. I wouldn't do it. That's something I wasn't born. I wasn't raised like that. Do you know what I mean? To hit, to hit we girls. I would never do it. William was angry about how his case had been covered by the media, and he blamed me in particular. Because you were slobbering about me, like. 
I'm sorry by what happened, but you didn't you didn't know what happened down there, do you know what I mean? Here. But William, there was a video of it. The I, video I, went the I, video I, I, went viral. I, listen, mate, my mum was getting mails from people in Australia and Wales and all, saying your son's this, your son's that. I didn't touch the wee girl once. William was convicted for a group attack on a teenage girl in a seaside town. A video of it went viral. Fair enough, I may have poured alcohol on her face. But I did not once hit that wee girl in that video. And people were trying to make it look like I did, do you know what I mean? That video's ruined my life, you know what I mean? But I actually come up here on my 18th birthday. So I did. You came in here on your 18th birthday? Yeah. Can you remember that day? Uh, yeah, yeah. Must be scary coming in here. Oh, f well, as soon as I walked in this place, everybody knew who I was. Sharp and like. What was that first day like when you walked through the doors here? Like, do they reassure you? Do they make you feel safe? No, they tell you. They tell you if you're under threat. And I was, I was immediately told I was under threat. And how soon was it until you were attacked? Before the lockup. About five months. I opened the door, went up to get a mop bucket, came back down and got hammered. And that's happened to me, that's happened to me on a couple of these landings, you know what I mean? I've had a few jumpings in here. Jumpings? Yeah. What's that mean? That's, the, that's where a lot of people beat the fuck really. And that's happened to me over that video. I thought this place was really safe. Again, for fuck's sake. It's been, it's, it's been bad. It's, it's been really bad. I was, a, I was a kid when that happened. I made a mistake, do you know what I mean? People make mistakes. It's just shit that it went over all over social media and everybody knew about it. I was in the paper and all. I seen the paper and I, 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 I caught up myself when I seen that paper, like. I can see them from the top of your arms down. Oh, I'm around here, over, I know. It doesn't help doing that there. It's, but I, I, I do it to show remorse for what happened. You scar yourself to show your remorse? I hated what I'd done, I regret what I'd done. And if I could go back, I would have changed it. And it, she wouldn't have got touched. Do you know what I mean? I never meant for any of this to happen. And I am sorry for what I've done, like. But I'm being punished. Do you know what I mean? You've had to grow up pretty quickly, haven't you? <laughs> I know, yeah, big time. But I have grown up, and I'm not that silly wee kid no more. Do you know what I mean? Got my priorities straight since I've been in here. I've noticed that many of the prisoners have self-harming scars. Ben! Yes? You can send me that. You're going to shield. I was in the middle of Hadrian, so it was. You were what? I was in the middle of Hadrian, so it was. I've noticed cuts in your arms. Oh, I do. Which are quite common in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I've did it there. Tried to slice myself open. Didn't really work out the best. Can you tell me the story of what those cuts actually say? It's hard to explain. It feels like me, you're cutting the stress out, if you know what I mean. You're opening your skin for the stress to get out of your body, if you know what I mean. But you're hurting yourself. I know, I know. It, it, it's stupid. I wouldn't... I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it now, like. So I wouldn't. But I regret doing it, because if I ever want a girlfriend, which I will do at some stage, but just not at the minute, They'll be like, what the fuck's all that there for? And they like, uh, not going near him and all that there. That was the only thing that I knew off then. And there's, there's different things that I know off now, I like for the rest. How long do you have left now, Ben, son? 
That's his tent then, right? So he's down the ten days till he gets out of this shithole. So he'll be a free man once he once he gets this hero. I reckon I'll do one once I get down to my last 50 days. Today we're conducting a targeted search. He's relieving that man in the not that good, I think. Yo, don't you have to play with yourself to get stuff in? Bet him a couple of times to get him off me and then... When that didn't work, uh, I produced a knife. There was a mad problem with that spice stuff. People running about like zombies and... <laughs> <laughs>